the tomatoes look three weeks ago just after I potted them into the big pots you might remember and this is how they are now and you can see that they've grown quite considerably what I need to do now is to remove the side shoots and tie them up tie the tomatoes up so I'm just going to show you that just now now if we look on this particular plant, you can see in here there are side shoots. These, these are the shoots that uh, come out laterally. And what you need to do is just simply put your fingers in there and pinch those out. Take out the entire shoot. Looks like you're removing a lot of the plant, but it, uh, it does a lot of good. So I'm going to take out all of these side shoots on this plant. This will encourage the growth up to be more upright and it will encourage fruiting. So I'll take out all of these side shoots, even the little ones at the top here. And quite importantly, we'll see at the top of the plant there are two shoots. There's this one here which is going up the main, the main stem. You can see it's further up, so that's the one we want to keep. This shoot here is a side shoot, so he has to come out. And what you can see there is we've got one truss of flowers sitting here, and there's another truss of flowers developing here. What I'm going to do now is take a piece of string and just tie the uh, tie the tomato plant to the cane. So I get a loop like that, just tie it around the cane and just tie the tomato plant to it with a loose, a loose bow there, a loose uh, knot. And that, that will tighten up on the cane as the weight pulls it down. So I'll just continue to remove side shoots out of these plants. You can see that the side shoots grow quite profusely. So I need to take all of these out. Just work your way up the plant, removing all the side shoots. And there we can see we've got a first truss on this plant, and the second truss just forming that right at the top. Well that's all of the side shoots removed from the tomatoes and they're all tied up to the canes now. So there's the side shoots all in the bucket there. So what I'm going to do is put those on the compost heap and you can see that uh, with each of these I've got just one tie on each plant. The plants are about, I don't know, about 15 inches high, something like that. Um, just got the one tie on at the moment, underneath the leaf joint, um, and that should give them good support. It's important not to tie onto the plant the stem itself, don't pinch the stem. Um, so you have a, a nice loop on the side of the plant and a tight loop on the cane. Some of the other crops I'm growing in the greenhouse, as per usual, are uh, the strawberries over here. These all look pretty good. Um, just have to pollinate them by hand, just using a little bit of string or a paintbrush and rub around the flower, something like this. Just go around the flowers and it just helps to set if there's no insects getting into the greenhouse. Although I think there are quite a few in here. So you can just go around like that and that will help to, to pollinate them. Now these are my first earlies and second early potatoes in bags. You can see they're in, they're in quite big bags, proper potato growing bags and uh, the tops have gone pretty wild so far so I'm really wanting to get these outside but we still have a danger of frost 
Um, it's, it's now the 18th of May and there can still be frost on, for another two weeks. On the bench I have some salad crops that I'm growing. They've been in for about a week and a half and you can see that they're doing pretty well. So it's just a mixture, of one of these packets you can buy, a mixture of salad leaves. And uh, I've grown those in the past in the greenhouse, which is very, which is ideal to be honest, because it keeps away all the slugs. You can keep a pest off them. So one great advantage of a polytunnel or a greenhouse. So we have a continual supply of um, salad leaves. Very easy to grow. Just plant them about a quarter inch deep in uh, any sort of compost and just keep them well watered, which is the main thing, because in the greenhouse it can dry out very quickly.